Wilson and I've been going to Radiant Life this time for a little over a year. And my husband is Jerry Wilson and I am a preschool teacher here at the daycare. I was born and raised in church, but not the Assembly of God. I was born and raised in the Catholic Church, went to Catholic school and did all that bit, and it was just a ritual, and of course I had a get you God. He was going to get me no matter what. And But I knew that there was more to God. I was always seeking more, and I just knew there had to be something. And I got to be an adult and got out on my own and got very rebellious for a few years and did my own thing. And then I found the Orthodox Church. But before I found the Orthodox Church, a friend of mine did take me to an assembly at God. But somehow I never showed up on Salvation Message Sunday and I kind of missed that somewhere. So. I got involved with the Orthodox Church and then I met my husband Jerry and we both got involved in the Orthodox Church and we got married in the Orthodox Church and right after we got married um, we moved to a small town and there was no Orthodox Church and the only thing I knew was Mass and so I went back to going to Mass and Jerry wouldn't go with me um, and that was a contention in our marriage and we kind of it, from there it just kind of snowballed into us not really being a marriage we were coexisting and one of the major things in my mind was the fact that he wouldn't go to church with me and lo and behold while we were coexisting he started going to church and um, I found witchcraft and something, which I know now is God, would not let me go as far as I wanted to go into it. Well, God kind of got a hold of me, which I didn't know at the time, and said, you're going back to your husband, you're gonna say you're sorry, and you're gonna figure this out. So I did. And we started going to church together. And it was a Methodist church, and there was a Christian counselor there. And we were seeing the Christian counselor, and something in me just said, that is not the church for us. And I woke up one Sunday morning and I said, I wonder what time service is at that Assembly of God church. And we didn't have a phone at the time because that's how bad things were. And he walked to the payphone, found out what time service was, came home, told me what time it was, and we made it and we both got saved and we went back to the Christian counselor and she said something has changed dramatically changed and it had because God had gotten a hold of us which was what was missing so um, we started going to the assembly um, the next week I went to a women's salad dinner and the speaker there said, is anybody not baptized in the Holy Spirit? And I raised my hand and there were five ladies and we went up there and she looked at me and she said, you have no clue what I'm talking about. And I said, nope, don't have a clue at all. And she said, it's just a gift God wants to give you. He's going to give you a prayer language and it's going to help you in your life. And out of the five women that she prayed for, I got it immediately. And it was because I, I truly believe that I was so hungry for God and that I had dropped everything that was standing between me and Him that He um, gave it to me. Well, a few weeks later, I went up for prayer and the pastor asked me to pray in my prayer language and I couldn't do it. And so um, I went home and I was praying and I was like, God, why can't I do this in front of people? What's the deal? I hear people at church doing it all the time. 
And that afternoon I took a nap and he gave me a dream. And in the dream he gave me some of the words that I said in my prayer language, told me that they were Hebrew, spelled them out for me. We lived in a small town. Lo and behold, the library was open. He said, go to the library, look it up in a Hebrew dictionary. And I did, and they were real words. And from then on, I knew that he was real. So I'm really thankful that God has brought me around. He pulled at me since I was a little girl and he has restored me. We had marriage problems. He showed me that I was wrong. He restored our marriage. He brought me through and here I am today. He's restoring everything that I had lost and I am back where he wants me to be doing spiritual warfare and praying for people because that's what I'm called to do.